Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I've got another painting for you where we will be dabbing the paint onto the surface. And, uh, you know, I think that you'll actually enjoy it. I, I liked how this painting turned out, and I think, I think you'll see why. But anyway, so let's start off with why we're taping it down. First off, you know, I always tape my paper paintings down so that they don't move, but also so that they don't stick to the surface so that little board that you see there we just tape it down to give it clean edges and also so it doesn't you know move i also tend to frame my paintings and mat them so they're you know you're not going to see the edges anyway uh, the colors that we're using today are a bright red a dark blue and a white the bright red is called hot jazz the dark blue i believe is midnight sun and the white is white uh, the type of paint is gloss enamel. That's kind of what I tend to normally use if you haven't seen any of my other videos. And it's basically just high grade, super sheet, like super glossy uh, house paint. So today I was doing something a little different. So normally my little dabbed paintings, I have like a hard surface that I use to kind of dab the paintings. And today I was going to try something else where I just use plastic to kind of fill in the painting and I've actually done this before but only with a with with acrylic back a while back when I used to use acrylic and this doing this little method here where I was trying to push down on it you know I was just trying to think of something else to do to give people ideas but also to try it myself just as a fun kind of exercise and I was not happy with the results um, I think that maybe if you're using you know, acrylic or oil or something, you might get better results, but I, I was not getting good results with it. So I decided that, you know what, we're not going to do that. Um, I just gave up on it and I went on to use it as kind of a, a stipple, right? As a, as a dab, uh, dabbing utensil, I guess is what you'd say. Um, and I just kind of went with it. So I took a lot of the paint from the lower areas and kind of moved it around the paper to kind of fill in the gaps and give it that really kind of starba starburst look and i don't think i mentioned it but the paper that i'm using uh it's canson and it is watercolor paper i think the size for this one was 18 by 24 so yeah just so you know the materials now here what i'm doing is i've hit all the pockets of the color that i put out but I'm really just kind of filling in the gaps to make sure that, you know, you don't see any raw paper coming through underneath. Uh, and it was st still, it was kind of getting muddy. And the problem is, is like doing this method where you like stipple the paint. It looks very cool and I love the effect of it. But sometimes it causes, like if you overdo it, it causes these muddy areas. So I had to kind of clean some of that up. And then I was, I was pretty happy with it afterwards. So... Uh, I mean, obviously we're done, so we're going to peel off the paint and I'm going to show, or sorry, I'm going to peel off the tape and show you kind of what the, the final product looks like. Now, again, I was actually pretty happy with it, so I definitely wouldn't mind, uh, you know, putting it out there and stuff like that. But I also had these colors out because I had just done the star, the wooden star painting before this, which if you haven't seen, go watch that. Maybe I'll put a link in the description so you can go see that one. That one's a fun project for the house. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this painting, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, you know, if you did, please like, rate, share, subscribe. And I will, uh, I'll catch you guys in another one. Take care, guys.